So right now, believe it or not, 98% of SHIB holders actually have this long-term mindset. They really don't want to sell right now. Now, if you guys don't believe me, there is a website that tracks all this information. It's called Into the Block. <clears throat> they check holder composition by time, large transactions, people that are in and out of the money. And what we're seeing right now is that only 2% of the current SHIB holders have held SHIB for less than a month. That means 98% of all holders have held for longer than a month. Actually, the composition of this is 27% between 1 to 12 months and 70% greater than a year, which is obviously a large amount of holders. That's a lot of people that have obviously probably bought near the top and plan on holding or people that even, you know, lost their lost their keys and they're just kind of sitting on them right now. So this is a great thing because this, again, kind of speaks to what I was talking about earlier. This downside risk is really minimized because of how pe how few people actually want to sell down here. People want to take advantage of their gains. They want to ride the wave up, right? Now, something interesting that has been also flipping back and forth here is this bid ask volume imbalance. It's actually been flipping this morning between bearish and bullish. You actually might have just seen it flip back to bearish. And really what this has to do with is the fact that there's not a crazy amount of liquidity down at these levels. There's not, you know, a big amount of people wanting to buy. There's not a big amount of people wanting to sell. It's just, it's kind of <clears throat> fluctuating back and forth. And this is kind of the reason why SHIB has been very involatile in terms of price, right? We've made very minimal movements compared to what SHIB has done in the past. You know, it wasn't very uncommon for SHIB to do a, you know, 10 to 20% run in a day. And right now we're stuck moving, you know, what, 0. 0.5002, right? We're, we're just, we're not seeing much right now. But if we take both of these things together, take them both at the information that we're given. <clears throat> if there's very few people willing to sell down here and we get into a bull market and there's this huge influx of capital and people that are ready, ready to buy, what happens to the price, right? It's far more likely that we move to the upside. And again, if we look back, even where we've been at recently price-wise, you know, we've got, we're basically a 2X, uh, we've been at a 2X up from here in the very near term. This holder composition hasn't changed during that time. That means this 98% of people that are holding long term, right? They don't plan on selling even from a 2X up from here. They're planning even further than that. This gives SHIB a lot of range to move in the short term once we do start seeing some of that bearish sentiment and again, that capital flowing into the market. So I wanted to share that with you guys. This is again, a, a very positive sign. It means that when SHIB does get going, it has that potential to break through this descending trend that we've been in here and do one of these, these rocket shots. Now, I'm not saying it's going to shoot to all-time high or anything like that. We obviously don't even know if it's going to shoot up in general. But right now, the metrics are showing us that, showing us that it has that capability. So definitely something to watch out towards uh, or watch out for as we get into better market sentiment. But thought I'd share it with you guys. Hope you're having a great day so, so far. Let me know your thoughts below where you think SHIB could run to on this next pump that we do get. But uh, make sure you guys smash that like button, that subscribe. You can stay updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. But have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.